What's going on guys, Bengal again here. I've been bulk recording a lot of these, but it's because I'm having fun. Just destroying teams. I wish the games would be a little bit closer, but we're playing really bad teams. And this week is no different. It's a good defense, but this is an 81 overall team. It's not particularly good. Of course, they do have Trevor Lawrence and they drafted a quarterback as well. Did they draft a quarterback this year? Yeah, Niall Sheldon out of Penn State. Do have a pretty good Trevor Lawrence that uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of help here on offense. James Robinson is some help though. Travis Etienne, it's not too bad. DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault, Cole Beasley isn't too bad. Why is he overall so low? Brevin Jordan's fine. Jimmy Madison's not great. Pat Elfline, it's not great. Brandon Linder, Colby Grosset, and Jawan Taylor. It's not a great offensive line. It isn't great. Rico McMullen is a superstar X Factor, but is injured. Dislocated hip. I haven't even seen that one. He's going to miss some time. Looks pretty good otherwise, but we won't be seeing him today. Right ends David Donald. Remember him from last year's draft. Never even considered him. Devon Hamilton, J2 Fele, Cade Levon Chason still hasn't developed. Miles Jack is superstar X Factor. Josh Allen as superstar and is, is quite good. Shaquille Griffin, Jonathan Jones, Tyson Campbell. Juan Thornhill is on the Jags now, and Jordan Poyer is as well. It's not an amazing defense. The offense is better than I thought based on their rating, and the defense is worse than I thought based on their rating. But we do have two breakout player challenges. No way they can injure both of them. Ooh, and it's Eric Hudson. Finally. He's going to need, what, like one sack to get star dev? One interception, four fumble tackle for loss or sack. I think that's going to happen naturally or hold the Jaguars to less than 250 total yards. That's doable. I think we're going to see Eric Hudson have star dev. I think so. And now a breakout challenge as well. It's Cameron Ford. He could go up to superstar X Factor. Oh my goodness. Two superstar X Factor potential corners on the same team. Are you kidding me? Now he's going to need a lot. Hold the Jaguars to less than 100 passing yards or force three plus turnovers. We could do that. We could force three turnovers. Multiple interceptions. Force fumbles, tackles for lost sacks. We can get three turn uh, turnovers. We can get three turnovers. I think that's actually quite doable. It's not going to be easy, but it is doable. The biggest thing that stands in our way is these guys getting injured. And I think defending the short pass might be what we want to do. And on offense, I don't know. I think just, uh, we'll just keep it simple maybe. Just run inside and then team profile. Getting Hudson up would be huge. Everyone else, we want to stay in there. And uh, let's do, let's do five plus sacks. Because I think that's doable. Actually, 350 yards passing just happens every game. Let's do pick it off twice. Because we just need to will that new existence. And then win the turnover battle, I think, is almost guaranteed. Unless Trevor Lawrence has some insane game like we see some quarterbacks have from time to time. I think we're going to be in a really good position to win here. Offense is looking healthy, and they are. We need Hudson and Cameron Ford to be healthy. ACL sprain for Dorian Tompkins. Well, he's already out. He already has a torn labrum. I don't even know why he would be practicing. And everyone else is healthy. So the only guy that got injured was already injured. What is he even going to be listed as here? ACL sprain out one week. Did that just cancel out the torn labrum? Are we going to get him back a week early? Guess what? We're going to make him a captain defensive captain i think that's well warranted for him is russ clemens already a captain he's not but he's going to be an upgraded power rusher really good player didn't get power moves though i think Derek davidson is a captain in the secondary cameron ford is up to a 90 overall 94 man 87 zone this would be so huge to get him up to Superstar X Factor. And then at that point, it's like, it doesn't even matter that we don't have 
the Patriots corner. Remember, he was, he was a superstar X Factor at 6'3. Lower overall than Ford, but superstar X Factor when Ford only had star, but this would cancel it all out. This would be amazing for us. So we have our goals here. We know what we have to do. It's going to be just playing unbelievable defense. I think we've completed every defensive thing here. So there's nothing to do with that. We could do boost impact blocking for fullbacks. Fullbacks don't play. Let's do awareness for offensive linemen because otherwise they're idiots. Plus three. That'll boost some overalls a little bit. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it'll actually do anything in game. But this is a big game, man, because there's a lot on the line. Star Dev for Hudson and Superstar X Factor for Cameron Ford. It's a primetime game. Lions Jags doesn't sound exciting, but here in 2024, we are, of course, one of the better teams in the league. They're going to return this. Wilbur. Oh, that's a good start. Set the tone early. We need three turnovers. And Cameron Ford gets Superstar X Factor. That's all it takes. Now, it's a lot, but that's all it is. We need to get him throwing, and we need to get pressure. Wilbur is getting thrown off. James Robinson's off to the races already. Cameron Ford, I'm going to go for the football. Spam and RB didn't get a strip animation. That's not a good start. I, I thought we were going to set the tone <laughs> after that uh, big hit on the kickoff. Nope. Nice play to Ron Payne. That's a really nice play. And it's a sack for Russ Clemens. We need to get the football. You know what I'm going to do? Because we really need turnovers here. Um, let's just do... Let's just do cornerback matchups balanced. Strip ball, aggressive. Tackling, aggressive. And then ball and air defense. Play ball. We're trailing behind a little bit here, but Lawrence will throw it away on third and long. You might as well just lob it up at that point. It's an arm punt. That's all it is. But they'll take a regular punt. That's open. TJ Hawkinson underneath. And he just hasn't been all that involved in the offense this year. The offense has been very effective, but very weird. Chris Godwin's missed a lot of time, so it's not fair to really look at his numbers. But TJ Hawkinson in the past has been super involved and just hasn't really been that much this year, I want to say. It's like we have one of the best tight ends in the league, and we used him all the time. And we have not all that much recently. As Raphael Wilkinson will get another catch, he's getting wide open. Second and 20. We're going to go underneath the Richie Owens. He's had such a great year this year. Yeah, had a little bit of a weird nightlife situation. Missed a game when he had a, a chance to get upgraded. Shoulder strain. Who knows what he was up to. As we're... It's drifting me into a sack. Garrison, get up the field. Throw on the run. Richie Owens can't make the catch. I wanted him to sit on the sideline. He ran towards coverage. Oh, it's play action. And that is Ford being a little aggressive and didn't come away with the football. I like the aggression, though. We are going to allow some yards playing that aggressive. But that's okay. It's okay. Second and 10. Out of position. And it's not going to be a first. The running back was, I almost want to say, a touchdown. Got super out of position on that blitz. And it is third and three. Fullback in the backfield. This is going to be play action to him. Hudson in pursuit, and Ford can't find the football. He wanted you to have the interception. He said, hey, take Superstar X Factor. And he still would need two more picks after that. Three interceptions? Like, asking that of a corner is too much. Like, I know it's like he could get a, two picks and a tackle for loss or a sack. It's like, what are the odds of your DB doing that? I know it's to get Superstar X Factor. It's got to be hard. We're going to roll out. We got Wilkinson, and we got a ton of space. Raphael Wilkinson with Tyson Campbell in pursuit. He'll tackle him. 
we go from 129 to the other and this rookie is going crazy third round pick out of auburn but he looks like the real deal Do we have wilkinson there garrison found him it's a rafael wilkinson touchdown we just have enough separation great ball great route great catch great everything but as much as that's an awesome play the focus is not on the offense today we need the defense to make a ton of plays so the shorter amount of time our offense is on the field the better but rafael wilkinson continues to find the end zone in his rookie season he has been insane the biggest problem missing time injuries 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 he's made of glass Levi Anzarike is going to be playing in place of the injured Dorian Tompkins. But he's, he's got big shoes to fill. The run? Oh, Tyrone Wilbur in the backfield. Shedding blocks is his biggest issue, but he's just fast enough to hit the hole, fill the run lane, make a tackle. I mean, he's going to be amazing. I mean, this has got to be a run right. This could be a play for Eric Hudson on the back end. It's actually not weird play but a first down for brevin jordan to run tyrone wilbur is this his breakout game i mean he's playing like the best linebacker in the league right now he's had some up and down performances his rookie year as is expected he's kind of been bullied a bit but this has been an unbelievable start for him here in this first quarter on prime time as he's stuck on that block <laughs> so maybe not Throw into the flat. That's going to be a completion. Go for the football. First and goal. They've been running eye form a lot. Go to the fullback. Braxton Turner says, okay, go back to the bench. Colin Gillespie. He just got shocked, rocked, and rolled. Second and goal. Will he get it again? Probably not. But Braxton Turner finds him again. But that's, is that Tyrone Wilbur making the TFL? They might give Braxton Turner credit for it, but that's... Yeah, that's a touchdown if Tyrone Wilbur's not there. Give me a turnover. Give me a turnover. Throw to the flat. Richard Russell makes a nice tackle. But we need turnovers. Oh, they're going for it. This is bold on fourth and goal. They're going to run it. And they're going to get it. Touchdown, Jacksonville. We're going to be tied at seven here on Sunday night. Third and eight. I think Richie Owens is really going to stretch vertically, leaving TJ Hawkinson wide open. And that's what happened. Rashad Reese was there, but I liked Hawk a little bit better on that one. Little lob to Wilkinson with a better pass. That would have been a lot more yards. Wide open, TJ Hawkinson. Get up the field, TJ. Look at the bowling ball that is TJ Hawkinson. Bulldozer more like. Big gain. That's a touchdown. DeAndre Swift up the middle. Texas route TD. It's not very often he gets receiving touchdowns. Maybe a couple a year. And that's one. I mean, usually it's to the boundary, right? This one right up the middle. Texans are not uh, in the game. Uh, the Jaguars just giving him too much space. The screen. Oh man, we need the football. We need a force fumble on that. Throw a bad ball, Lawrence. Cam Ford, good coverage. We need the football. Jaguars with a minute left in the half are going to punt from midfield on fourth and inches. All right. Second and two. Ooh, ah, let's just go to Wilkinson. Had TJ. I just thought TJ was closer to the Jaguars defenders. So opted to go a little bit more underneath. I think we can still score before the half. We've scored with Richie Owens on this same play before. But that's that's not what's going to happen this time. Get out in front, DeAndre. We're going to fumble! I've tried to play into the block! 
Oh my god, Paul. I've done that at the end of the second quarter so many times this year. Um, but that time, I'm just trying to, like... I'm trying to get the block out in front. And it just did not work the way I thought. As that's going to be a fumble. Get the ball. We need turnovers. Don't you realize? Are we really going to get three in the second half? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Or a warrior. I need it. I need the football. Timeout Jacksonville. Nine seconds to play. Launch it deep. I think we have a good chance to get a pick off this. A lot of times it's just knocked down. But there is the chance. Oh, this has got to be a pick. Uruwarie as well. Intercepted. Amani, Amani Uruwarie ends the first half. That's turnover number one. That's a huge play. He's trying to help out his teammate Cam Ford get superstar X Factor. That's a good way to end the half number one. Rashad Reese. Ooh, sometimes that spin move will create a lot of separation. Didn't get a ton that time. Third and three. Third and three. Let's get Rashad Reese on a slant. Wilkinson actually, let's put him on a on a zig or whip route. Third and three. There's Rashad Reese. Good speed. Look at the change of direction, too. You need to stop and go and change directions. He's awesome. Godwin's open. Let's go. Good throw. I mean, we're under pressure a little bit. But Paul Garrison just makes it happen now. He's got the, the traits or quirks or whatever. He just does everything perfectly. Now that's a sack. So I was watching Wilkinson on the slant there. I had talked so much about like how fast his slants were. It didn't really get a lot of uh, speed there on that one. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. DeAndre Swift right wide open. DeAndre Swift stiff arming means stiff arm. And he gets his second receiving touchdown of the game. DeAndre Swift, man. What is going on? Two receiving touchdowns for him. Is this Rashad Reese? No, it's DeAndre Swift. They, unreal. What a stiff arm. They're going deep. Oh, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Uh, Cameron Ford got beat. Who even is that, man? Phillips? Billups. That's Chauncey Billups, the uh, Pistons guard. Cam Ford, man. Uh, you can't get beat. And that I got bumped on Brandon Linder completely out of the play. Ooh, DeAndre Swift in the zone, by the way. Let's get him the football. Is that a TFL? He might be out of the zone. Try to just, you know, go through him. We, no, he's still in the zone. We can get more powerful truck animations, and he just didn't get one. Just didn't get one. We're going to go back to him, though. <laughs> Should have probably done catch and run. Just see what he can do. How bold is quarterback draw here? Super bold, but it works. Look at Paul Garrison lower the shoulder. Vanilla Vic. Been running a lot with him recently. Like, actually running. Not just rolling out. Doing a little scrambling. Like, running. It's good stuff. But he does... Does cough up the football a little bit. As Rashad Reese will make a nice play. Why am I getting out like this? Garrison can't throw a pick. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll throw it. Second incompletion of the game... It's way better. I play way better when I stop being stupid. So I shouldn't get in the habit of throwing something like that. But if I can't throw a pick, I'm going to give some chances. We're going to be out of the zone now, though. Third and ten. No way. No way. DeAndre Swift. Almost touchdown number three. I'm surprised the ball even got there. Came out a tick too late. But that was, that was TD number three for DeAndre Swift. We can even get it on this play. Looking for him. DeAndre Swift, touchdown number three. Three receiving touchdowns for DeAndre Swift, man. That is unreal. What a game from him. Oh, it's a screen. I wasn't even looking for that. 
Dude, these, these hit sticks are not landing and we're not getting the ball. They're going deep. No way Ford got beat again, dude. Cameron Ford, what's happening? How are you getting run by? How is that happening? We need the football. Get the football. Good sack. BJ Dickerson, where was that sack last game? <laughs> where was that last game? We could have gotten him up to superstar dev. He w didn't do anything. That's got to be a pick. Cameron Ford takes it. Let's go. Allows a big play on the game on that, on that you know, same drive. Has allowed two big plays in the game, but it gets an interception. We are one interception or turnover away from getting him superstar X Factor as far as I'm aware. And he gets an interception, adds to it. Let's go. Play action. Ooh, that's open. TJ. Ooh, stepped out of bounds. I don't like that. That open? Ooh, it is. Richie Owens. First down. Paul Garrison. I mean, it, it, nearly a perfect game. The only incompletions have really been just like, just throwing it up. When we can't we can't throw interception, and it's been, it's doing a lot of just letting the receivers make plays after the catch, and throwing a lot of drags, slants, things like that, and then anything to DeAndre Swift. Owens, yeah, we got a touchdown. It's playing off coverage. You got to be closer than that. Richie Owens, TD, sixth catch of the game for him, and we're starting to run away with this one a bit. We do need another turnover, though. Jacksonville in a position where they're going to have to stretch the field. That's how interceptions happen. Throw it deep. Throw it deep. They're going deep. Or Warrior, pick it off. I'm pressing triangle, man. Please, Amani. Man covers with one step ahead. Just throw it one of my corners. That's the thing. Throw it one of my corners. That's it! Cameron Ford. Oh my goodness. Take the football away, please. Lawrence says all day. Time's running out. He just throws it away. Throw it to me, please. Fourth and one. They're going to run the ball. It's a pitch right. Oh no, they got the first down. More opportunities to throw a pick. That's the worst. Oh no. <laughs> We're not forcing fumbles, I'll tell you that. Left that open. Trevor Lawrence has time. Oh, he's not going to fumble. Russ Clemens with another sack. We need him to throw at the corners. Going end zone. Ford takes it away. Second pick of the game for Cameron Ford. And that is superstar X Factor. Second pick of the game. Oh, we needed it. And Cameron Ford gave it to us. Let's go. I mean, what a weird game for him. Got cooked a bit for sure. But that got multiple turnovers. He's going to be an X-Factor. That's so awesome. Now, I am a little bit worried if for some reason they just decide not to give it to us. Um, but, you know, I think because... Oh, Richie Owens wide open. I think because he did what he needed. To, did he not catch that? No, he did. All right. I think because he did, or we did what we needed to do, which is three plus turnovers, I will give him Superstar X Factor even if the game doesn't because we did we did what it said. I don't, I don't know why it would not work, but it's mad, dude. Amazing game for Paul Garrison. 33-38. Five touchdowns. 473 yards passing. Lawrence threw three picks, thankfully. 
uh yeah kind of a weird game on the ground for us not a whole lot of attempts just because that choose clock and swift wasn't that effective neither was reese fumble for garrison of course and then receiving richie owens seven for 119 in a touchdown rafael wilkinson six for 114 in a touchdown rashad reese was good deandre swift had three receiving touchdowns hawk four for 60 chris godwin five for 50 just amazing ball distribution we have five receivers with five or more catches and then tj had four so good stuff there just the touchdowns were pretty one-sided <laughs> well i guess two for receivers but three for deandre swift Derek davidson at eight total tackles cameron ford had 10 10 <laughs> what a great game from him tyrone wilbur three for loss two for turner two for clemens who also had two sacks those are the tackles for loss sack for bj nor warrior and then of course the sacks Anzarike had one bj dickerson with one two picks for cameron ford what a game here in year two are we any had a pass deflection too that that's guaranteed superstar x factor force fumble for levi Anzarike was not recovered and then no defensive touchdowns but unbelievable game we got a superstar x factor corner now in cameron ford two superstar x factor corners I mean, if you thought it was easy before, who's throwing at us? Who's throwing at us? And now Paul Garrison with 90 improviser will get escape artist, which I've heard is quite good. And now he has 93 throw under pressure. Look out. Look out. Some interesting stuff in there, but escape artist feels like it matches my style of play. That's what I've been working toward. And that's what I'll try to equip if it will ever go. I clicked it. This is frozen. Cool. Okay, so it, it it froze. I had to restart the game. So now I am a little bit worried that some wonky stuff was going on. Just trying to equip the thing. Didn't even save. There we go. So that's going to make me roll out even more. So if you like that, <laughs> great. If you don't like it, tough day to be you. All right, breakout player. Did Eric Hudson do anything? I forgot about him. You know, coach, football is simpler than people think. That's a lie. It's about one-on-one -on -one matchups. The better man always wins. And after today's game, I don't think there's anyone better than me. Well, I mean, he's right. He's right. Superstar X Factor and 2000 XP for Cameron Ford. It's a great day. And I don't think Eric Hudson would have gotten it. Yeah. We had opportunities. Multiple guys ended up with sacks, tackles for loss. He didn't make any plays. Didn't even make one. Disappointing. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Weekly awards to Cameron Ford win NSC Defensive Player of the Week. I mean, he couldn't have chosen a better week to get that done. <laughs> oh, this never happens, but that that's amazing. We are 8-1. and one. Cameron Ford with an upgrade here. And, I mean, Superstar X Factor. That's amazing. That's amazing. Man coverage up to a 95. Let's get the zone into the uh, into the 90s, please. I just did slot. I didn't mean to do slot. It's going to do, like, man coverage, which isn't the worst. Plus three press is interesting. Plus one man as well. I mean, we'll get, we'll get another uh, point probably at some point this season so he will get upgraded but he's playing up to a 92 universal coverage um zone hawk i mean if we're running a lot of man let's do shutdown they enter the zone their coverage is tighter and interceptions are more frequent on contested catches is that what amani warawarie has he does and he's making crazy picks all the time and he's worse. Well, I mean, I guess his, his coverage is higher. At least zone is. But Ford is faster. Ford is better. <laughs> I want to say in all accounts. 95 speed. Yeah, watch out. Watch out. But that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Take it back to the house, defense a joke. I'm
Laughing so loud.